Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. And in this video we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool water filter. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new filter, a sticker to go on the inside of your fridge to tell you when to change the filter, and the filter data sheet. There are a few different types of these filters, and they all have a six month or a certain gallon that they're actually good for. Some refrigerators actually have an indicator system that the light comes on and tells you when to change the filter. Before we take the filter out, you may want to lay a little hand towel down on the floor to catch any water that comes out. In order to take the old filter out of the refrigerator, we have to grab this handle right here and turn it counterclockwise until it stops, and then pull out on the handle. You can wiggle it, make it a little bit easier to come out, and just pull the filter out. Here's the old water filter next to the new water filter. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. The only thing we have to do for the new filter is we have to slide the handle off the old filter and slide it onto the new filter. Once you have the handle on, we can remove the dust cap and install the filter. In order to put the new filter in, all you have to do is line it up with the filter housing, push it in until you feel its seat, and then turn it, and it'll lock it into place. Many of these filters come with a sticker indicating when you installed it and when you next have to change it within the six months. If you don't have an indicator telling you when to change your filter, you want to make sure that you mark it and put this on your fridge wall so you remember when to change it the next time. This particular sticker has a removable block that you can move around up here every time you change it. So if we're going to install it in April, we would change it in October, and then you could peel it off and put it in October, and it would tell you to change it in April. So every time you change your filter, you just move it around from when you change it. So since it's April, we're going to stick it on April, and we have to change it in October. Once you get it on there, you can peel it off and stick it on the wall inside of your fridge so you can remember when to change it. Now that we're done with the repair, we can close the refrigerator door. Now that you're done repairing the refrigerator, you can plug it back in, make sure it starts to cool off, and the temperatures return to normal. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.